Hi Leo, welcome to your What Lies Ahead reading for June 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. This is intended to be an open reading, so whichever um, area it's focused on, we'll find out when the reading drops. So it could be a little bit of everything or just concentrated in one area. All right. Uh, if this is about a person, it could resonate with their moon rising or Venus sign or your moon, moon rising or Venus sign also. And then at the end, I'm doing a little, just a snapshot or a sneak peek of three months and six months. All right, Leo, what do we got here? No, I don't normally do it like that. I was going to flip it for the middle. gonna fan it and then pick one out of the middle I don't usually cut it like that three of Pentacles Queen of Swords that could be Libra three of swords three of wands good gracious one two three threes okay what is going on here <laughs> five of cups looks like you left out of self-preservation six of Pentacles good so five of cups eight of wands all right now let me get the little guys here and then we'll do the other ones um, as soon as I figure out the room here. Okay. Hmm. What's this? Libra. Okay. So what's this Queen of Swords for Leo for June? This is Queen of Swords. Leo. Ace of Wands. Okay. This is Three of Swords. This is Three of Swords. So you're doing your own thing, is what you're doing. What's this Three of Swords for June? What's this Three of Swords? Leo. Okay. Three of Wands. So we've got you wanting to... You're wanting your life back. You feel like you've given enough to a certain person or a certain place of work, um, and you're wanting you back you're wanting your life back you're wanting your future back you're wanting your choices back what's this three of wands about let's see what's this three of wands about for okay these two jumped so we've got the hierophant and eight of swords what's this three of wands for leo the devil all right This is looking like a relationship that broke your heart. Um, that you, it might be somebody you've met online and you're just like, eh, it's just, it's not enough. And you're not, it's, it's going to not be what you want. And I think they're asking for you, either this is something that you've been waiting for and it's not panning out. They're just not giving enough of what you want. It's been long enough. You want to cut ties. Um, or this is someone that you really hoped you were kind of hoping that it could be more and they're not giving you enough to go on. And it's keeping you in this constant state of wondering like, okay, what, you know, they're like, well, just trust me, just have faith, just wait a little longer. Just, and you're like, I, I, I want my life back. I want my choices back. I want my future back. I'm tired of waiting. What's this five of cups? And this could also be work and the promotion is just not coming. To be fair, considering what we're all going through right now, you know, it, that could factor in. But this is you having waited for an offer, waited on someone, and it's just not ever going to be past a certain point. And you, you don't want to wait anymore for that. What else for? How did these get turned around? Oh, gracious. Okay. Some of these got turned around. So it's five of cups about. There's five of cups of milk. The lovers. Okay. Gemini, Taurus, or Libra right there. What's this eight of wands? This eight of wands. This is eight of wands. The hermit. Okay. It could be Virgo. What's this six of pentacles? Good for you. What's this six of pentacles? Okay, so 
you have been waiting this could be a promotion this could be something with family this is something about you having waited for somebody that it's just not working out with that you're you've got everything up and running in your life and yet they can't seem to figure out what they want or they don't want anything more than what is right now because they want to have their cake and eat it too they want to have this over here and this over here and this over here so the relationship or your position as an employee or even in a family your position in this situation is not is kind of taken for granted or it's just not prioritized so this is all about you going well i'm not sticking around then i really wish i would have been chosen and i don't want to have to settle i i feel like i've settled i've waited and i don't want to anymore and i and, and you asking me to trust or to wait for me and what I've done for this business or this relationship or who just what I want, it's not fair to me anymore. And I'm 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 taking off and I'm going to do my own thing. So this is, it almost feels like it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Like you just had this epiphany and you're just like, that's it. I'm done. I'm ready. I I need to not anymore. I need to not be involved in this anymore. I wish it could be different. I'm not happy about it. Wish it could be different, but this has given me this is kind of given me the clarity and realized i need to go i i don't I, I shouldn't be here i shouldn't be involved in this anymore i had another card in there okay i have the answers that i needed and i am out and this is leo um basically doing returning and and kind of nurturing what you kind of partitioned or left over here this is you getting back to what you want this is you sort of leveling the playing field and getting back to basics and doing your own thing again and doing the right thing this has gone on long enough and you finally reached a decision or a realization um that it's just it's better for you doing your own thing than to be in a situation where you're not valued else for Leo let's look at let's look at three months now for Leo Leo three months Leo three months. months Queen of Wands still doing your own thing okay what's six months for Leo six months whoopsie six months for Leo that's for Leo Five of Wands, and this jumped. <laughs> that jumped Tower Reverse. So, yeah, you know what? Um, okay, so this, I, I like this because having realized that you need to step away from this, you, it's just not in your best interest to be involved anymore because you give too much and you're ready for someone to value you. You deserve more, you deserve better, and you're ready to be recognized for your worth and what you can contribute to either a business or a relationship um this is you not having to go through this devastating um whirlwind again and just like having it to be much more dramatic than it is if you basically are going you know what i i need to just i need to do the right thing here i need to do right by myself i need to replenish myself because this is not giving me what i need and i need to do that for myself and i'm going to take matters into my own hands and my own well-being into my own hands and you're avoiding disaster <laughs> this is you i don't want to say narrowly because this is not narrowly this is well thought out you've been dealing with this for a while so this is you deciding you know what i don't want the drama i'm not going to wait for another blowout because of a situation or a frustration coming up that once again i've been let down or disappointed so i'm not doing that and I'm going to, this isn't going to be dramatic. It's not going to be a huge blow up. This is me quietly recognizing what I want and what I need to do. I've thought about it. It's been a long time and I'm just going to do it just like that. So this is, this is avoiding disaster, avoiding drama. And this also is about you coming full circle on something and it being a somber decision and choice and not returning to the situation, not giving them that leeway or slack anymore. This is you kind of realizing I really wish it could be different, but I know that it's not going to be and I need to just go. And so here you are doing your own thing three months from now. All right, let's see what else. Whoopsie, three months. Three months for Leo. Three months for Leo. Three months for Leo. <laughs> 
Knight of Cups. That could be Scorpio. This could be Aries. That's for, let's see, it's for Leo. That's for Leo. So we've got, is this a new romance? Is this, um, <laughs> okay. So this is in, in three months, this is either whatever it is, you're at the helm, but in three months, you're either in a new romance, you've got someone coming in, or this is you really loving where your new place of work is. If this is a workplace reading, this is you really being thrilled with what you're doing at work because you've got the autonomy and the freedom um, with this new job and you're really loving, um, that's what you are valuing the most about it. If this is a relationship, this is you meeting someone and them having caught your eye or interest, but you're still kind of doing your own thing. So you're, you're very much in charge of your own life, but you have met someone that there's interest and there's a fit, but you're gonna see how it goes. There's nothing serious, there's nothing, um, it's just you're right where you wanna be. You're not tied down, you're taking it slow, and you're still doing you and doing um, very much your own life, your own thing. But there's interest there and you like where you're at, like you like setting the tone for that. That you're not one down, that you're not giving your all. You're not in a position to save anybody. You're just, someone's interested in you, you're interested in them, and you're going to see how it goes. Still very independent, though. What's this? Um, five of Wands. You could be dating, but it feels like someone's particularly caught your fancy. What's this Five of Wands for Leo? The Empress. All right, the Empress. That could be Taurus, Aries, or Libra. What's this Five of Wands for Leo? Three of Swords. Okay, so the, mm -hmm. so is this you? The, now, mind you, this is December. So is this because yeah, the holidays are kind of stressful, and this is about I'm leery to say pregnancy. Um, I don't think this is about that. I think this might be that the holidays coming around and there might be some stress. There might be some really busy schedules, and you're simply not able to take care of yourself. Um, as much as you would like or to spend time maybe nurturing this still romantic connection as much as you would like. So it's going to be a very chaotic time because once again, you're going to feel like you're in charge of everything or everything falls on you. And you're like, I really would like to take a break. I really would like to take a rest here. Maybe this is you suspending, um, you know, dating or a, a budding relationship, kind of putting it on hold so you can get through the holidays because there's a lot of... Um, it looks like everything's going to fall on you to take care of or to be a part of and to help manage. It's going to be a very busy time for you in December. So um, just know that <laughs> you've got a budding interest, but you're probably going to have to shelve it. It's, it's something that you can pick back up again. It's not a breakup. It's just you're feeling depleted. You're feeling exhausted. And like, oh, and it's like, I got to get through this month. And there's just simply not enough time for self-care or attention to this relationship. This budding interest. So, what else for? Might be some bickering too. Like, I want to see you. Why can't we see each other? You know, they're saying that to you. That's that sort of thing. Like, just like cranky because you're not able to have your alone time. That's for it, Leo. I need to count. Nine, <laughs> Nine of Swords reversed. And I can see my dot there. Nine of Swords reversed. And, ooh, look at that. Ten of Cups. I like it. No more worrying. Yay. <laughs> Yay, because no more worrying because this has gone on long enough. You recognize that. And if you stay, it's going to be this. But you walking away and taking matters into your own hands and doing the right thing and being fair to yourself is not only avoiding disaster, the right decision, no more having faith, just wait for me. Mm -mm, taking matters into my own hands. I'm happy, right where I want to be. There's interest, and you, but it's on your terms. And then there's, you're very popular in December <laughs> to the point where you're probably not going to sleep much and there's going to be lots of plans and a flurry of festivities and all that. Um, and then we've got nine of swords reversed and 10 of cups. No more dissatisfaction, no more worry. Well, I shouldn't say no, no more worry. I just, the absence of um, that, this. This is you having things in perspective. You might still worry, you might still, but this is all about having perspective and being content. So um, things are, and I think that's because largely things are under your control. Um, once you walk away from the situation, there's peace that settles in because you're doing your own thing and you're 
life is largely back under your control and you don't have to stress and worry and manage and uh, anymore. You've taken even the stress or the worry that you do have to manage is much less than having this to worry about with it. The other part of your life is manageable. This was just, it was too much. It was something you couldn't fix as much as you would have liked to have helped someone or you couldn't do it. If you weren't appreciated or valued, there was only so much you could do here. So this is you, once you walk away from this, this is the worry leaving, no more. And we've got contentment and peace and being just really, I don't want to say happy, but just a return to peace and contentment with the choices you made in your life. So um, June looks like you're returning back to you. You're taking you back. So, and this is not to say that you have to walk in, you know, that Leo's can only be, no, this is not that because look, you're over here starting something new. So this was necessary. You know it, you, you know, this is necessary, not ideal, but you're looking forward to your future. And then it looks like three months from now. So what September ish, because we're talking about from June, um, you've got somebody you're talking to a new one that you would like to see more of in December because it's progressed that far, but you can't. <laughs> so, cause you're busy. Okay. Okay, Leo, I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. Um, thank you for your service if you're an essential worker or first responder. Much love and support to you and I hope you have a good June. Oh, I've also done a, um, a pick a pile reading for this, if that's your pleasure. So you can head on over there if you're interested. Should probably say that in the beginning of the video. <laughs> okay, all right, you take care, Leo. Much love to you.